Well, anyway, today I'm going to go travelling around London, all by my lonesome. Um, oh, the table's still being made. Bye. Okay. They were pigeons. Well, that was Nelson's pole. I'm on the way to Buckingham Palace. Really, you want to get jokes in your face? Yeah, it's all right. All these things, and I don't know what this, <laughs> what they are. Man, my English is bad. I'm in my history. <laughs> Oops. Ah, ice cream. So hot. You see, this big pole is a big pole of Frederick, Duke of York. He was born somewhere between 1763 and 1827. Was the second son of George L, or no, George the Third, uh, Commander in Chief of the British Army in 1795, 1809, and 1811 and 1827. Wow. I hope that wasn't too dark, and I also hope that no one thinks I'm a weirdo because I'm talking to myself. Well, anyway, see, there it is. It's a pigeon just there. Pretty cool, huh? This is a road. Cars use this to get to and fro places. This was especially special because it's uh, red. Yep, it's red. To cross this especially special road, you put one foot in front of each other like so. Usually straight in a straight line, but sometimes it's, it's quite fun to go around circles. But today I'll, I'll practice in a straight line. See? Now that we safely crossed the road, we can have a look at other things, such as a horse with wings and a lady right next to it pointing to the east. I don't know what to say about this one because there's no class going to point it out. But it's very interesting, I like it as well. I mean, <coughs> this is a map. It tells me where I am and where I would like to go. See? It's very clever. Hmm. Three fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cake and ice cold drinks. There's something you don't see every day. It's a white leaf. See? Just the There's a swan and it's white. There's some hair and it's green. Never seen so many pigeons in my whole life. Cool. I don't know where Buckingham Palace is. It's got to be around here somewhere because that sign says so. Here at last, off in the distance, we can see our long awaited goal. What a happy day it is. 
and be refreshments. The thing about this place, it's constantly drying your mouth out. Mm. Oh well. Here it is everyone, Buckingham Palace. It's not really much to look at. I think it's just a wall actually. Hmm. Look everyone, one of the money flowers you find at the Buckingham Palace Gardens. Aha, uh -huh. there is more to see. What a degrading job, having to stand there while millions of tourists around the world come up and stare at you. There it is everyone, Buckingham Palace. After previewing what I just recorded, I realised that I'm just I'm flicking through it very, very quickly. I'm like recording the boring bits really, really, really long and the exciting bits really, really short. So I'm going to change it. One of the many sculptures I know absolutely nothing about. I think I'm still doing it very quickly, eh? I don't know, I'm just button happy. <laughs> I hope that one was better. <laughs> I hope you got to see what I actually recorded. Um, yeah, that took about four seconds, I think. One, four or five seconds. So that's what, that's how long I'm going to be recording the kind of interesting bits. Okay. Bye. I just found out by that police guy back there that the tours are going to start at 7th of August. But I don't think I'll be here by then. About then. then. So, you never know. <laughs> the thing about London is that you're constantly hearing signs, like once every hour type thing. Hmm. A news taxi. You get it? News taxi? Like, like with the newspaper. The paper is, is like made out of paper, but this one is made out of taxis. So it's like news taxis. <laughs> 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 This is the side view of the Buckingham Palace. It's really, really huge. It's like basically like a tenth of the size, hey, that little bit there. Wow. The trees around here are really, really nice too. And all the flowers and all that sort of thing. I can't really, uh, yeah, well I'll show you another yeah, close look. Bye. That was a long one, wasn't it? This is such a nice garden. But I wonder if you're allowed to camp here. 
These trees are so huge, they're so cool. I really hope you can see the sculptures eh? I, I, it seems like they're going to be really, really dark. I don't know why. This on the eyepiece they look really, really dark. It's true. I wonder what that building is. Hmm. Somebody actually lives here, right? Eh? Look at that. It. It's all got a private car park. Wow. I just found out by some dude that this is St. James's Palace. The young and I hope my hand is not too wobbly and makes you want to vomit. Oh, look, ten. I don't know why. I think my hands are really, really tired. That's why it's very, very wobbly. This is the Dawn Oway House. Hmm. Welcome. <laughs> What's strange? A strange fence. That just changed my mind. Oh well, the Queen just walked by. Cool. She sure looks different without a crown on.
see all the rich people having their meal. Oh, what? there's a tree in the way. Sorry. Hmm. Spy, spy, spy. Mm. <laughs> this park is so cool. They got some really cool chairs. Millions of them. Oh. Mm. This cost me one, one quid and twenty p, which is probably about three dollars. Cool. <laughs> it's just water as well. Mm. It's about well, how much is it? Two a bus. How cool. <laughs> Sorry about that, I didn't talk too much lately. 
and the pictures that I did show you were very quick and I promised you that I didn't do it so I broke my promise I'm very sorry um, he told us so much stuff I can't remember hardly any of it but maybe I'll go over there sometime and talk to you about it okay bye uh, changed my mind um, yesterday um, I changed my mind I didn't feel like walking around anymore so I just took the subway home well today is another day Karen and Paul has gone to the shops to get some food I'm here waiting for them they've been here an hour I think an hour and a bit they said they're only going to be an hour but they've been an hour hmm so I'll see you later. Cool. They just arrived. <laughs> How cool. Bye. I just had some lunch and I'm proud of it. Hello, I'm just on rearranging my own plant rooms. Hmm. hmm. I don't know quite know where we put them. I'm sure it looks nice wherever you put it. I hope so. <laughs> wow, the backyard. Hmm. Mm. Today we are going to go to Greenland, I think, or Island, one of them. Should be pretty cool. It's a lovely day. Say something. Hello. Yeah. Um, we're now trying to get to Charing Cross Pier to get a ferry. So it's really hot. And, oh, um, the battery's running out. Oh no, the battery's running out. Turn it off. Stop. First time I've been London for eight years almost. We're gonna get on a ferry. We're gonna get on a ferry. We're gonna go to Greenwich. Past all these really beautiful things, and um, and we're gonna go to Greenwich, and we can get on the boat. We can um, we'll just do all that. I'm so excited. I love. Oh, it's so exciting. This is why it's really good to have someone else here who's being a tourist. It means I can do all touristy things that I never got to do. Excited about is um I don't know where do I put where I oh dear where do I put the ticket where did I put the ticket Jason I don't know oh here it is Ta -da. okay another thing that we can do is go to Hampton Court that's really exciting as well um I've never done that either Paul and I once put the train to Hampton Court and walked around it's really spooky it's got these huge ghosts in there Jason it's really so rude, real yeah. ghosts yeah. some rooms so we can do that, but yep. I don't know. I don't know where that ferry goat leaves from. Mm. Ask Paul. <laughs> I'd get Paul to do all the work. Right. Paul can tell us where it leaves from, yeah. and he can find. Uh, Randolph can tell us. He's been. He, he, he can ask Randolph to try. Wow, all these places we're going to see. Oh. <laughs> Three hours. On the right hand side, there are two little chicks there. Look, these are baby seagulls. They're sheltering from the uh, from the in the centre where it says private mooring. And this is the second year these seagulls have nested on that barge. It's very very unusual for seagulls to nest anywhere so far so near to man. Underneath, and these are the birds that inhabit the Thames. Now these twelve pillars you can see, these red pillars are all the remains of the old St Paul, Paul's railway station designed to take the first steam trains across the Thames down to Chapman and Dover. 
It's actually found to be unsafe some years ago. They removed the top, just left those 12 splendid red St Paul's. Now back to St Paul's, the, now if you'd like to see the house in which Sir Christopher Wren lived, well, almost next door to that, they're rebuilding Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. Not on the actual site, but the nearest place they could get. Uh, Suffolk Council gave um, Sam Wanamaker an acre of land to build this on. It's where's the castle on the hoop in. It was also mentioned by Samuel Pepys in his diaries and visited by Dr. Johnson. Well worth a visit if you get a chance. They do have a copy of Dr. Johnson's original dictionary inside the pub. You've got an only session quarters of customs and ex. Uh, the HMS Belfast was built in Northern Ireland, entered the service of the Navy in 1939. She was involved in the pursuit and sinking of the German pocket battleship, the Scharnhorst. Also involved in the Normandy landings of D-Day. She also escorted the Russian convoys. She last fired those big guns in anger in the Korean campaign of 1952, when she was the flagship of the United Nations. Now those guns can fire a six inch shell, a hundred weight shell, 14 miles. If you look at the guns on the front end, you'll see they're actually pointed at the House of Commons. They do say if John Major makes any more cutbacks in the Navy, they're liable to fire once again. Now over on your right hand side, all this area is still owned by the Royal Family of Kuwait, and this is where the, where the Royal Opera House is actually going for three or four years until they run tickets to Tower Pier. I'm afraid this is where you must leave us. Will Sykes fell to his death after striking Paul Anthony, trying to swing from one side of that dock to the other. Fun, wasn't it, Karen? It's great. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so, so on the way back, we'll, we'll, um, we'll get the train because then we we'll have a bit more time here in the lovely Clara of Greenwich. Yay! Yeah, yeah. go to the museum. Oh, what a beautiful view of Greenwich and London. We missed him. Those big necked ones are always mean. Gimme, gimme, gimme. The big neck pigeons. They always hit people, hit them, peck them, man. Mean, mean, bad pigeon. This is the sky. I really like it. There's nothing else to see. It's really blue. Even when you zoom into the sky, you don't see very much. That's my favourite colour. These are my favourite trees. These are oak trees. These trees, 400 meters. Bit dark, isn't it? These are the same really old oak trees in Greenwich Park. They are 500 years old. And 
it's definitely good. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Does it sun affect it? That looks beautiful. Hmm. Who is he? Who? Oh, right. This is some fat big na naval geezer. <laughs> oh wow, William. Oh, it's William the Fourth. Born 1765, died 18 something. He's probably a king. <laughs> yeah, William. William the Fourth. All right, that was our exciting day in Greenwich. Um, we're going to get the train now and. Um, it's six o'clock and we've been here for a whole hour, but we've got to go home because Paul's cooking us fish because our friend Randolph is going away today. Okay, bye. Hello, 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 hello. This snowy evening oh, has a different, so just more active approach. Turn it down. I haven't been talking too much lately again. It's because I haven't been doing much. I've been here already a week and I've already really seen around London, but I'm working out. I want to go to Austria, I especially want to go to Barcelona because it's got really cool architecture there. We were in his book about. Oh, it doesn't really matter, who cares. Um, yes, yeah, so. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the reason why. Yeah, okay, bye. One, can, one thing that I can say is that I bought some new shoes. And also. Some new boots on the new table that Randolph built a new t-shirt another new t-shirt two brand spanking new socks on a brand spanking new t-shirt some oops a pair of new trousers with a new belt a new shirt a new jacket I bought these from a shop named Next. A Fender Rhodes. Wow. There's nothing much more to tell you, so I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Bye. I'm sorry if that bully hurt your feelings. Don't worry, I will talk to you. Just for a little while. Actually, I changed my mind. An extremely large bee. What is it? Focus. And it looks very angry. I hope he doesn't bite. How close can I get? What? 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 what, what. Mm. I don't want to kill him, but I don't want to pick him up either. Because he looks big and mean. I don't know why it's not focusing. Focus! 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 <laughs> Maybe it's not enough light. But there it is. Hello, I'm Karen's chess set. I'm Pilly, I'm on the left, and I'm Polly, I'm on the right. Um, the end. As you can guess, I, you probably, it, <clears throat> just a second. As you can guess, I'm kind of bored. I'm wasting my holidays in ugh, this little room. I've been out and I've been walking about quite a lot. But the problem is with today is that I have to stay at home until 4 because this piano guy is going to come over and deliver a, a piano so we can play the piano but tomorrow we will be doing something hopefully I'll be going to Austria soon because I found out that I can stay with some guy in Austria and hopefully I can go to Paris too won't that be exciting 
But sometimes I don't think being a lady beetle is very exciting. I don't know why. I mean, sometimes we do do things very exciting. But just lately, I don't know, I think it's just because I lost one of my green feelers. But I've been, been kind of, you know, bored kind of thing, you know? There's got to be something to do. Mm hmm. Sometimes I wish I was something like a, I don't know, like an elephant and and and, and something big and big and exciting. Because when you're big and exciting like that, you just can roam around. You can do whatever you like. You can squish squish anything you like that you don't like. You know what I mean? Like if you didn't if you don't like your dinner, you just can squish it. It's a squish into nothingness. You know? But when you're a little lady beetle. You have to, you have to eat what you're given, and all that sort of thing. You just don't have the freedom, like you know, like with with elephants and that. They have, they have so much freedom because they just can do what they like. You know what I mean? So I don't know what to do. But I bet elephants can't do this. I bet they can't make a buzzing noise when they walk. Oops, the focus is out now. Oh, oh I just stopped. Oh, the end. The piano dude's gonna be coming soon because it's quarter to four. Won't that be exciting? Oh, by the way, it's the second of August today. Hmm. Hello, 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 hello. I'm working out the cheapest way and the, the best way to go to Austria because I'm going to stay in Austria for a little while with my dad's friend. I just rang up these people here. It's so rude, I couldn't believe it. I just rang them up and they go, hello. And he goes, oh, hello. I was just wondering how long it'll take uh, to go from here to Austria. And he starts to talk and he suddenly just goes, bye, and just hung up the phone like that, eh? Rude. Well, anyway, I'm going to have a little, little look again. Well, I booked it. It's leaving 6.30 tomorrow, and I'm going to Innsbruck in Austria. And from there, it's in the Alps, so it's going to be really nice. And from there, I'm going to catch a train to Vienna. And I'm going to meet up with this guy, Joseph, and he's going to take me back to his house. And that's it. Fun, fun, fun for the whole. Today I'm going to Austria. Here we are at the bus terminal. Um, we'll be going in about 10 minutes. Here's all the people. On my shoe.
soon we'll be over the channel. How exciting. <laughs> it's very cool. It's pretty cold though. It's very different than London. But never mind. Sorry it's so windy. I'm surrounded by Germans. <laughs> Soon we'll be on our way. Away we go. And now for some food. The boat has docked. And now we are going to go away on the bus. We're now in Belgium. How's it going? Sorry. That was Randolph. He was Karen's friend. But also Katerina. It's really bizarre. He's, he turns up in the most strangest places all the time. Like firstly, he met my sister in Australia when she lived in Australia about eight years ago. And then he met her by some strange coincidence in um, Brixton, London. It's really quite strange. Well, here we are in Belgium. <coughs> this is what Belgium looks like. Right now I'm going to show the police my passport. He didn't even open it, we just showed it to him, eh? And that's all. something wrong with the wheel the new wheel yeah. away we go We are now 
is actually tomorrow morning for you. I mean, but anyway, um, it took me one and a half days to get to Innsbruck. I'm now staying in a youth hostel. This is the picture outside. What it looks like outside my window. See, I'll, I'll take you out and show you the Alps. It's right in the Alps. Today I'm going to catch a train to Vienna. It should be pretty cool. Okay, so bye. Firstly, this is the river Inn. And look at these mountains. Wow. This is it's in the Alps. So the mountains are really lovely. Beautiful. Wow. Pretty steep. Sure is pretty here. I'm now trying to find where the Bahnhof is. It's supposed to be the train station. So I can go to Vienna. Vienna. <laughs> I just said Guten Morgen to an elderly couple. Two words that I know <laughs> in German. Which means good morning. Still have graffiti now. Notice, notice anything strange about this picture? They're driving on the wrong side. I mean the um, left side, right side of the road. Which is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you understood what I was trying to tell you. One thing I didn't think about is after I ask the question they're going to answer me but the problem is I don't understand what they're trying to tell me like I know what, they're, what I'm telling them but when I answer back it doesn't mean much to me actually so <laughs> hmm At last I'm in the train. Soon we'll be off to Vienna. It's gonna take 11 hours. Doesn't matter, you can look out the window and there's also a food thing. This is the view from outside the train. Pretty exciting. This is what I'm reading. The crash course in German. It's pretty exciting. La 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 la. I don't. Let me start again. I just found out that I don't have enough money and that I was supposed to buy the ticket before I got on the train. I was, somebody told me that I paid for the ticket when I'm on the train. So, hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. Not to worry, it'll work out. He let me off 30 shillings, which is good of him. I think so. Look at the scenery, it's trees.
me 131 shillings a meal. I'm not sure that's a lot, but it seems a lot. Last we made it to our destination in Vienna. <laughs> I'll go and introduce you to them. <laughs> hello, would you like to say hello? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> what you get to eat? <laughs> would you like to, sorry, I can't remember your, your names. Ingrid. Ingrid. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Ingr I'm really bad with names. Okay. Would you like to say hello? <laughs> this is okay, Jason. Okay, okay. Okay, it's yeah. recording. It's recording. It's yes. Yeah. Okay, also. Hello, we are glad you are here. And uh, best wishes and greetings to your friends. Oh, thank you. <laughs> was the old, this was the old part of the, for the animals. Yeah. Dann möchte ich unbedingt sehen, wie das mit der Solaranlage ist. Also muss ich nicht zeigen. So. Here you have, here you have the construction. Uh, this is the temperature. The water comes from the, from the, from the roof. Oh. Uh, taste it. It's warm. Yes. Warm. Oh, yeah. Here, here, here. Yeah, it is warm. It's <laughs> warm enough. It is about uh, 70, over 70 degrees. Oh, okay. The water is a closed, uh, a closed system from the room, uh, from the roof up to here. It's a, uh, uh, it's a closed system, and uh, the the uh, heatness will be changed in this uh, vessel and uh, taken off by warm water and uh, heatness uh, and uh, and. Uh, um, Central, central heating. Oh, central heating. Yeah, so and this is the, this is for taking out for the central heat, but only in winter. So the warm water goes to the, into the walls. Warm water the is here. Going okay. in, our, uh, in our passing room. Okay. And you make it? And this is the, this is the electronic for, uh, for um, regulating, no, regulating uh, the system. Oh, right. Wow, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> there is a vegetable, a vegetable cellar. In winter time, it has two degrees, and there are apples, and no, uh, it's not my apple. It hurts. It's a, it's a pity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't the words. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't remember. remember uh, in English. The words, yes. In English. Oh. But you, What's you it in German? Do you know this? Yeah, onion. Yes. Zwiebel. Zwiebel and Karotten and Kartoffel. And yeah, they, this is uh, for the apples. Oh, right. Okay. They lay, they lay in this wood, uh, in this wood meal and uh, stay very long fresh. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Right? Over the whole winter, over the whole winter, system fresh. All oh, right. Yes, we give we give it in in uh, October, and have in the May next year we have all. Far the, out. Yes, we have fresh uh, fresh apples. They stay. Uh, oh. and this is this is uh, uh, you see, marmalade jam. You make all these yourself. Yes. It's from Ing is is uh, of Ingrid. 
It's the stock of jam. Of years. <laughs> <laughs> this is an oil drum but, uh, for central heating. Uh, this year, this year, I give this stove away because we get uh, we get uh, a central heat from uh, a big plant here in the place. It's a big plant for uh, producing uh, central heat. All oh, right. Is this and uh, we get it in our house too. There are already uh, 80 houses included in this system and uh, we get it this year and then I uh, give this stuff away and uh, these tanks these tanks I use for, for uh, uh, stocking um, uh, the heatness from the roof oh, right. I give inside water and make a ch changing system from heatness in the tanks yeah. yes and uh, so I have it stocked. I have the hitness stocked in these tanks. I have it to isolate. You know? Yeah, insulate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then I can I can stock it. All oh, right. And take okay. it out if I need it. Wow. Yeah. It's quite a large system. Yeah. Wow. Well, I just had dinner and I'm really, really tired and I'm going to go to bed. But it's been really nice. And see, there's a nice dog. And there's a nice house. And there's his car. Sleep. Love it. Wow. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a beautiful day. The trees are singing and the grass is buzzing. And not to mention the birds are breathing. Wow. I'm going to have some lunch. I mean, some brekkie breakfast. Soon. Oh, milk and an apple strudel. <laughs> Yum, apple strudel. And milk in the glass, and my shadow, and a plate, and lovely flowers, and a bright sunny day. Mmm, yummy. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the house. There's a fireplace. It's pretty cool. It heats up this room and also heats up every other room because the warm air circulates through the house. It's pretty cool. This is some room. Mm. Pretty cool house. The dog house. He built those solar panels all himself. The flowers. Sunflower. Bend. Is it going to go around? Uh, it's not going to go around the circles. Oh well. Ich kann mir denken, was du dir unter dem Kraft vorstellst. Jede Nacht in Paris verdankt, wo es dann um die Feuerstufe 
Well, enough of this chit chat. Today, I'm going into Vienna and look at all the things that are big and interesting. University. My eldest son Lucas has uh, been studying here. Oh. Your father knows it. Oh, right. This was the places we went uh, when he was uh, uh, coming to Vienna after work from the sugar plant. Oh, right. This was the street we are, oh, right. we are going. This is the Vienna Opera. Germany. Behind Museum of Art. Museum of Art. Wow. <coughs> Take it at once. <coughs> the House of Parliament. The House of Parliament. Yes. But uh, you will see it later on. Okay. It's the uh, capital, the town hall. The town hall. The town hall. Yes. Oh, it's nice sculpture. Let it be. You get it better in. In the German spoken area. Oh, right. <coughs> Tip. The, of the inner city. Your father and me went uh, the last time before he uh, left Austria going to Australia. Oh, right. Built up in uh, uh, the 17th and 16th century. Oh, right. Hermes. He's, uh, he's a guy for the... For the uh, For the commercial people. It is the uh, Greece. Uh... Ah, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think of it. Uh, one of the Greece gods. One of the Greece gods. Gods, ah, yeah. right. You know, okay. Zeus, Hera, yeah. uh, uh, Neptune, and so on. And it is Hermes. Uh, he, was, he was a servant of the gods. Uh, who, uh, uh, who brought, uh, uh, brought notices between them. If one god wanted to say something to another god, he said oh, Hermes. He's a, he's a messenger. Messenger, that's it. Yeah. He was a messenger. Uh -uh. At this place, the young Vienna people in the evening uh, have the points to see them. Have, have what? The point for, for finding them. Oh, see, right, okay. Gaudi, we are Gaudi <laughs> here. All right. Where are you? Yeah, that's the Rasa. Wow, that's nice. Eh? Nature fashion, the nature fashion of Austria, but uh, uh, in the modern art. Oh, right. Yeah? It's not yet original, but uh, it is kind of modernized. Modernized, yes. Modernized, yes. Came to Vienna centuries ago. Vienna was, uh, was, uh, was uh, built up in 900 after Christ, Jesus Christ. 900 after Jesus Christ. Mm. Vienna uh, was uh, known as city. And up these times, uh, young people who learned a profession and came to Vienna to, uh, to uh, fulfill their profession, to get better in their profession, mm. uh, they went to this place 
This place is called Stock im Eisen. Uh, translated wood, iron in wood. They took nails and threw it with the hammers in this wood. Each one. All oh, right. And it is full of nails. It's pretty amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a little sculpture. Yeah. So this one's at the church has been yes, yes. cleaned. Uh, Yeah. Because the stones are getting dirty. <laughs> Is that because of the. So, Dad used to go to this church. Did Dad used to go to this one? This is the one that Dad used to go to? Yes. Yes. That green one? Yes. Have a look at this one. You see the fresks up there? Is it, sorry? The what? Fresks, it's a painting. Oh, right. Oh. Oh. I hope it's focused. In this house, the leading person of the Austrian Catholic Church is next of the Austrian Church, Austrian Catholic Church. Do you like to say concert tomorrow evening? What do you understand? German, English? No, no. They speak German. They speak German. They speak German. Ah, well done. It's morning evening. Tomorrow evening, Walzer Operette in Hofburg, in Pidel Palace. And the program, I can show you the program. The most famous pieces of uh, Strauss, Lea, Kalman and Stolz. Rosen of the South, Wiener Blatter, Sam Polka, Radetzky Marsch on the Dudona. This is tomorrow. This is tomorrow. Übermorgen is then uh, Mozart auch. Strauss and Mozart zusammen. Immer hoch auf dem Festhalt von Mozart. And on Samstag then is the Wahl zum Operett. We have three in the Woche. And it is in the in the hall of the castles of the emperors, and uh, it is at this time a bit warm. In summertime, it is very warm. It is uh, in these rooms, in these halls. Therefore, if you if you like to hear it, it is a possibility to go there and but, to hear it. Yeah, but very hot. But if you if you uh, more prefer Rolling Stones or uh, no, uh, that'd be good. Little Richard, or <laughs> I don't know what else. Uh, you must have it. No, I like classical. Yeah, the pop organ. And uh, uh, this is uh, the council, the council where the priests are praying uh, to the people. Oh, right. It's very really detailed, eh? The 15th century. Yes. It was started, uh, as I know, uh, 30, 30, 1360. And up to 1460, uh, about this time. 400 Sibira. years. This is the architect who looks out of the window. He made himself a memory by this figure. All oh, right. It's very famous in Austria. It's called the fenster cooker. The people who looks out the window. What, what's this one? We don't have this in the church? Well, this, we don't it? have churches like this, really. I see. Our church is um, The priests are standing school. and uh, praying here. They make their... their uh, um, they
and uh, fulfills a ritual. It's a, ritual. a religi religious ritual. You know oh, okay. That? Yeah. Yes. This is place. This, na this place uh, na is named altar. Altar. Old altar. Yes. The bell. And the bell was banded by Upper Austria. Upper Austria. Upper Austria. The door in the front was banned by Styria. The stone at the earth was banned from Lower Austria. The bank where you are praying has banned for Adelberg. Mm -hmm. The bank where you are praying, oh, right, yeah. where you are sitting, has banned for Adelberg. The windows all around has banned Tyrol. Sorry? Tyrol. And uh, the lamps has banned Carinthia. Uh, the bank before the altar has banned Burgenland. The left and the right. The altar and the tabernacle has spent Salzburg. And the roof has spent Vienna. Mm. You see it from the outside better. To what's it? To the bell. To the bell, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's 150 meters. Stone. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's another altar? Yes, it's an altar, but it's good one. Inside you have the, the steps. The steps. Yes. Very tight. <laughs> yes. No, okay. No, more than. All right, I'll go have a quick look. This is the bell tower. It's a how how high is it? Uh, boomerang. It's called boomerang. This this bell is called boomerang. Boomerang. It's the most biggest bell we have in Austria. Oh. We have in Austria. How high? Uh, Altitude. But this bell is mm. uh, it's about uh, 80, 90 meters. 80, 90. Yes. Okay. Wow. It's a bit higher. It's Austrian. This, this is tower wow. is 139 meters. I had to tell us the phone here. This is uh, the Bishop's Palais. This half, right up to here. You can, you can see the inner yard, the inner yard oh, of the yeah. Bishop's Palais. Now we are looking uh, to the east, uh, uh, to the east, east yeah. and you see in front of us the giant's wheel. Oh, the giant's right. wheel. <coughs> <coughs> this is, this is uh, uh, the Luna. Wiener Prater. Yes, Wiener Prater. Your, your father will know it. Oh, oh, right. oh right. cool.
uh, this house behind, this oh, big play. house behind, which is called Carf uh, Form, is the Juno City. The Juno City. These two houses in concave form, in the back side, yeah. this big house, this high house, is the Zundunido city. Oh, right. <coughs> this tower up there is a restaurant, which uh, moves around, circles, there is around, oh. around uh, 360 degrees. So yeah, we've we got look. one like that. It's when good. you are eating there, you have a look over all places of Vienna. This is the area as well? We can, we can, well, we can go look. there. It's got like an area. We can go oh. there later on and have a look. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yes, yes. Yeah, we've got one like that in Canberra. I see. And the feet of this hill, I look there. Oh, All right, yes. the Alps. Yes. And your father, your father had a room in this part of Vienna. Oh, okay. Out there, he had a room. A room. Yes. Is that his first house? His first unit. Was his, it, was after, that after he left, after he left the. Uh, uh, um, no. The minister is uh, the, uh, the church. The church, yes. He took an own an own room. He rent he rent the room. He rent the room mm -hmm. and lived in this place, in this area. Mm -hmm. And so I visit him very often in the evening after working, after after finished our work, his work and my work, we meet together at this place. Okay. For discussing and reading. <laughs> walking and so on. Oh wow, how ah, cool. We had a lot of time together. Mm. What's this? Uh, if you uh, more often are uh, ringing the bell and the lift doesn't come, mm -hmm. uh, you should a bit wait. If there is something wrong with the lift, we have the possibility to left, uh, to left by by uh, steps, steps. Oh, down okay. to the place okay. of the church. <laughs> we go straight. Hold on, we are coming to uh, to uh, the Danube channel. The Danube. Where mm -hmm. we are with the car. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, in this direction, it says, oh yes, uh, no, it's something for tomorrow. There is a watch with figures. Who, uh, try, who, uh, <coughs> who uh, go around for, for 12 hours. For each hour, mm -hmm. one figure comes out from the door and, uh, and descends in another door. And 12 figures comes at 12 o'clock in the middle. Mm -hmm. If you are there, you can see it. Yeah. Tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. I get up early. <laughs> I show it to you. Behind the window. Do you see it? On the right hand, there's a figure. No, right hand. You, in the middle, you have the watch. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, on the yeah. right hand, you have uh, a, a window, and behind the window, there's a figure. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. And there are 12 figures who change, who are coming around the watch on the left hand and passing by around the watch. Around it? Oh, yes, in the yes. front? Yes, yes. How, how do I, there's a little bridge that comes out or something? They open, they open and they pass by. Uh, in the front of it, you see, uh, so you see a figure uh, just uh, uh, on the right side of the watch. The mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. All yeah? oh, right. But at 12 o'clock in the midday, they move around the watch. All 12 figures. Oh, that figure there. <laughs> Behind the window, you have another figure. Yeah, okay. I understand. What a cool This watch is called Anker. No, right. Animal market. Oh, the animal. Oh, wild animal. Wild animal. Oh, right. Mmm, ice cream. Super, huh? Yeah, it's like a car. A hundred million lights on the thing. Very old streets. 
how old would I be? Five, six, seven years. Yes. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. I still look pretty good. In the year seventeen hundred eighty three. Oh, all right. All right. And in this palace, the highest Baldwin judgment is uh, situated. Called Ver Ver Verwaltungsgerichtshof and Verfassungsgerichtshof. You understand the highest yeah. judgment in Austria. The, the richest or yes. the most important. Let's see. Great German poet. Going to the smallest watchmaker shop in the whole of Vienna. Oh, it's an army truck. Boom, boom. American Jeep. Yes. <laughs> Why is it still here? <laughs> of Vienna. Looks. Oh, wow. You can okay, go inside daily, uh, but not Monday. Not Monday. Monday is closed. closed. But daily you can look from 9 o'clock up to uh, 16.30. Wow, look at the clocks. It's a big <laughs> So he, he makes watches here? Yes. Wow. Let's say watch, watch maker, maker master. master. And that's his name? Karl Hof. Karl Hof. So where does he make it? There's no table. Oh, okay. But this old shop, and as I told you yesterday, it was one of the safest places. Because part of the church. Of the church. Mm. Here you have the second shop. What's this one? It was even a shop to add for something else, but today it is for uh, it's the smallest gallery. It's gallery. Art gallery. Oh, right. But it was even a, a, a similar shop like this one with other goods. But it was rent from the priests to people who were seller mm. and wanted to have safe places. Safety, yeah. This is where he makes them. Have a look. Have a look for this restaurant. It's a very old restaurant. It's 1566. It's when it was made, this restaurant. We now are going to eat in the oldest restaurant in Vienna. It's, it's a ghost, I think. Yeah. This was the yard inside, with, 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 with uh, steps for small flats, with the windows around, and this roof of wood was made later on. All right. What was there before? It was all the small flats on this side. Now it's part of the restaurant. Okay. But in former times, it were all small flats. Also steps to small flats. You have the impression of how mm. it has looked like. Mm. We are hard to remember, I think. We aren't going to eat in there, so we can eat somewhere else. This is the monument of the best. This here. 
Uh -huh. Because in Vienna we had two times the best, and a lot of people died. It's the, 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 the memory of this best, uh, this uh, monument was built up. Yeah, they died Black from the Black, Black Plague, death. Black Death, yes. for them. Yes. Interested in street food care? <laughs> This is an old Romanian castle. Uh, uh, renovated it and uh, uh, let the place open so that visitors, visitors could see how they have built up in two towns. Old Romanian castle. Sorry, I didn't realize it was. Um, Michael in. Platz. Hmm? Am Michaela Platz. No, right. Den Vater wird das verstehen. Hm. Do you have all the skaters in, in Australia? Hm. Yes? Baskers. Ah. This is called the Michaela Platz. The what? The Michaela Platz and uh, these uh, fountains are also famous uh, mountains. Oh, right. It's pretty major fountain. against the birds. Oh, okay. Otherwise the birds they go up there and destroy, nest. destroy mm. all. What's this one? In this edge? The Austrian president is uh, president in this oh, edge. Right. In those buildings behind those statues. And this is, uh, as you see, a sign of ice, uh, of ice, um, leadership. It's a symbol for leadership. Leadership, all oh, right. Yes. Okay. Mm, it's nice. Renaissance. 
von Renaissance und Gotik. Ist kein Defensiv. Weißt du, wie viel Ja, halb. Ja, so I'm going to change it now. 